Star Wars Daisy Ridley movie rumored on hold. Now, this has been going around for a few weeks now, um, but it started to pick up some steam over the last couple of days, and then Star Wars Theory put out a tweet talking about it, and that got even more people talking. And that's the rumor right now, is that the Daisy Ridley movie is uh, on hold. Um, because Called it, by the way. Huh? Called it six oh, months ago. Uh, yeah, man, way. dude, I've been, I've been saying, I've been saying that this, uh, I've been saying that this movie was. Uh, I think I, I, I want to be careful about this because I'm trying to remember, man. Um, just I want to remember. I think I predicted this movie would never happen. I, I think I predicted this movie would never happen, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's because, well, number one, nobody cares about Ray as a character. Nobody. Now, um, because we're in this weird era where a bunch of fucking losers on Twitter will continue to lie about everything that we say and misrepresent everything we say, I will clarify what I've said a thousand other times. I don't have a problem with Daisy Ridley. I have actually have. I think Daisy Ridley's actually come off very nice in most of her interviews that we've seen from her. Um, I don't recall her ever saying anything overly disrespectful towards the fan base or whatever. That doesn't change the fact that Ray is a very, very unpopular character. She's a very unpopular character, and there's no way I see a major film being released as a solo project with Ray Palpatine at the forefront. Well, it's not only that. It's like, uh, again, uh, Lucasfilm has, has does a wonderful job in putting great people around their projects. They come out and say... I want to make men upset. I don't like white guys. This movie's not made for them. If you don't like it, don't watch. They they just do a wonderful job. If you don't like it, you're a misogynist and probably a racist. Uh, and that's, you know, that's how it is. They, they, that was all surrounding this film as well. And so it's like, what? How many times are they going to keep doing that and, and go, man, you know, people don't seem interested in this kind of stuff. Of of course not. Yes, and that was sarcasm, by the way. Uh, if you didn't know, but <laughs> it, it, it's like it, it's a constant. And I, for some reason, th this whole acolyte thing has. I think that has done something. That has shaken something over there, where either the board or someone came together and like, hey, look, we're giving you two hundred million dollars for a TV show. And we're continually giving you hundreds of millions of dollars for Disney Plus stuff that nobody watches. What makes you think they're going to go to the big screen? Uh, so I, I have a feeling they're, they they want to see like what the Mando movie is going to do before they uh, before they even launch another project. The last Star Wars movie was was the Ray film, right? The Rise of Skywalker. Rise that of Skywalker, it. and and it it barely barely creeped over a billion, and it barely made a. Profit it was going, for them. yeah. The, the trend was going down from you know. Well, yeah, I mean, we, Force Awakens makes two billion dollars. Uh, Last Jedi makes one point three billion dollars, and then Rise of Skywalker makes barely one billion dollars, and uh, essentially Rise of Skywalker made no one happy. Um, so you had the, the, the last Jedi pissed off a, a huge portion of the fan base and the majority of the fan base, but then you had a, a bunch of different fans that came from the, uh, the last Jedi and then the last Jedi fans, um, all hated the rise of Skywalker because essentially the rise of Skywalker abandoned anything that was set up in the last Jedi and everybody else that already hated everything from the force awakens and before the force awakens rise of Skywalker is the biggest disaster ever. Um, so that really left Star Wars in a weird place. Then, of course, you had the Mandalorian season one, season two, that really got things back on track. And now, um, uh, with the Mandalorian movie, I feel like they've lost all the momentum that they would have had it for just Mandalorian. Fell apart, man. Yeah, because Mandalorian, I'm still skeptical on if a Mandalorian movie can be a success because on the big screen, because that that still probably could be uh uh, a hit for them. The it's is, really like, hard to like tell. You said after season one and two, the Disney Plus shows were were starting to pick up because even I think for me personally, the Boba Fett series was the worst thing they ever put out. Never saw it. Thankfully, um, that has high viewership. Like a bantha. you know. So it it's like that. That thing is up there. 
they basically made the book of Boba Fett just to get baby Yoda back to Mando, which just once that happened, they took season one and season two of Mando and just flushed it in the toilet. Yeah. Um. So it's like uh, it, they did that in one episode. And uh, because I guess because the toys were selling like crazy, everybody had to have a baby Yoda doll Christmas ornament and they had to get him back because that's the only thing that they had that was doing any making any movement for Star Wars. So they did that. And after that, it's just been phew, nosedive city. Ray and Kylo Ren were the feature of the Star Wars hotel. <laughs> that didn't turn out too well. That didn't turn out too so, well at all. You know, that's that's how it is. Ray, you could see Ray walking. So here's the thing. If you if you go to Hollywood Studios, if you want to meet Darth Vader and get a picture, the wait time is about an hour. And I we've recorded this on Park Hob, an hour, sometimes uh two hours. Chewbacca is about an hour. Ray just walks around the park. <laughs> she just walks around Galaxy's Edge. For anyone just to walk up and take a photo. So that's all I'm saying, man. Like, it's like, you know, I wonder, like, I, it always makes me wonder if Darth Vader just starts walking through Galaxy's Edge, is he going to get mobbed? Are they going to need, like, people surrounding him, like, for photos? Or how how would that work? That That's it. But Ray walks around without a problem. Now, Chewbacca, they put behind, like, these border walls. So, like, he stands around the Falcon and, like, He's kind of like untouchable. So he kind of looks like he's like fixing the Falcon, then he waves and then he walks off. Would you say they oh. built a wall? They did. <laughs> Pretty interesting there. They okay. They built a wall. Interesting how that you works. You don't walk out, around, Disney. but Ray Ray roams freely. She's just kind of like, hi. You well, know yeah. who I am? <laughs> no, 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 nobody nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit. Uh that's that's really the bottom line. Ray is a again. Nothing against Daisy Ridley, but Ray is a very unpopular and uninteresting character. And that is the fault of the people involved with these projects that were writing the character, developing the character, and developing the stories. The other thing, too, is I don't know if people have been paying attention to Lucasfilm, but them announcing projects that aren't actually happening is pretty much par for the course for them, okay? Yeah. Hey, Ryan Johnson, how's that trilogy working out yeah. for you, buddy? Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on this. I don't think that Lucasfilm has ever addressed the Ryan Johnson trilogy. I don't think they've ever addressed it. I don't think they've ever acknowledged that that trilogy is never happening, even though right before The Last Jedi came out, they sent out press releases. It might still be on StarWars.com. Ryan Johnson, writer-director of Star Wars The Last Jedi, to create all new trilogy. This is November 9th, 2017. This would be about five weeks before the release, if I'm not mistaken. No, not, not five weeks. When did, when did The Last Jedi re release? No, no, no. It did release in 2017, but but 2017. It, was, it was like December, what, like middle of December or something like that. Um, and yeah, uh, so this was, was like a few release. weeks. This would be a few weeks before the Last Jedi released. So this is still on StarWars.com with Ryan Johnson's trilogy wow. here. Um, so there you go. Uh, from director Ryan Johnson. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi was just the beginning of his journey in a galaxy far, far away. Lucasfilm is excited to announce that Johnson will create a brand new Star Wars trilogy, the first of which he is set to write and direct. So there you go. As writer-director of Last Jedi, Johnson uh, conceived and realized a powerful film in which Lucasfilm and Disney are immensely proud Look at that. <laughs> it's still What's, there. The, the other one was the other big one that had a lot of hype is not the right word, but had a lot of attention was Patty Jenkins. She was supposed to do that Rogue Squadron film. Yes, yes, yes. And they had posters. They even had I, I don't know if they had a little clip. Maybe it was just like something from an old film. But, you know, they brought her out and they, they paraded her around like we're going to get Rogue Squadron. She did interviews about it and all that stuff. Then Wonder Woman 1984 hit. And Lucasfilm was like, uh, yeah, well, we're going to see what happens with this Ray movie, but it's reportedly on hold right now. I think it's Daniel is it named like RPK or something like that. That that's broke the story. And he's, he's a little hit or miss on things, but, uh, you know, they're saying that it's on hold, that it's being pushed back, that it could be delayed. They're working on the script, yada, yada, yada. This information 
is out there for a reason because they're trying to gauge how much people actually care about this character and this project that is strategic on their part they do it all the time um so that they can actually see like hey after the acolyte failed and we lost all of this money we need to make sure that people are interested in some of these projects we have coming up now i think mandalorian movie 100 percent is happening i think that the uh um you know isn't there an Ahsoka movie, I think, too, that's supposed to be it's happening? season two. It's not even supposed to start filming until late next year. Yeah. After so. all the people have forgotten about it. Yeah. So, but this is what they do as well. They put it on hold, and then they, they're they like, put this in the folder of never speak about it again. Kind of like, like Ryan We Johnson's don't give trilogy. it an official like cancellation. The only one that they gave an official cancellation for was, I believe it was the Acolyte. Oh. So it was like... Poor, that, poor <laughs> someone can correct fans. me, but it's like, like the Ryan Johnson trilogy. It's like put that in the folder of never bring it up or talk about it again, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe people will forget. Yeah, maybe. I don't think they can be redeemed. I think that this ship has sailed. I have been saying this for a long time that they need to get out of not only the we we all have said that they need to get yeah. out of the era of like the original trilogy era but at Skywalker this point time, era, they just gotta... you need to move on you you need to just go so far into the future and get away from all of this timeline that you have fucked up and almost yeah. reboot of sorts but when people from the past are discussed it needs to be people like Luke Han and Leia not not Ray Finn and Poe but yeah. it, it, but even then it's just going to come off as pathetic and desperate. So I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know.